Okay, so I'm just showing everybody so it's clean uh, exactly what the process is to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, th I'm showing on a, on a computer, um, obviously, but uh, it's, it's a very similar tech stack um, on the phone. So basically, you know, you have like, uh, you know, f a few dollars in BNB uh, as available dividends. So you press the withdraw button. You confirm uh, your withdrawal request is submitted and then your withdrawal balance increases. And then, um, you know, for most people, they're like reinvesting half. So, you know, half of that, you know, if we divide that in half, um, we could just go down to the calculator over here. Um, if it worked on the particular browser that I'm at, um, but it's uh, basically like, you know, one, uh, 1.6, um, BNB. So we're going to reinvest, uh, uh, 0.16 BNB. And then we're going to, uh, pull out the rest of it. Obviously, you know, nobody's going to be, um, pulling out with such little amounts, but I'm trying to show people, um, you know, the basics of, of how to execute this. So, uh, so now we're left with like 16.1627 uh, BNB. So now we want to go uh, to, if, if you're doing this on a browser, you're going to have the hotspot shield VPN uh, location spoofing uh, proxy uh, server enabled already. If you're doing it on a phone, you're gonna you know log in using the credentials that I provided, and um, and then you can use the the Binance um, bridge. Uh, and this is on the uh, computer. I don't think that the Binance bridge works very well from uh, from the mobile, but it's we're gonna test it out really soon um, on the mobile on the on the metamask device. Uh, so I'm gonna do maybe a second uh, tutorial for that. So basically it starts off like if we press F5, um, I'm gonna show you what the screen uh, starts off with uh, from from the get-go um because that's what it should look like you know you should see usdc up here and you should see uh the ethereum network uh uh over here so we need to switch this around so we change uh from the trx network we're going to change that to the ethereum network then we're going to press this button because because this would be the inbound thing this is if we're going from um usdc uh, into the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So, but we're not doing that right now. We're going, what we're doing with the withdrawal process. So now that we're in the Binance Smart Chain network, uh, now we're gonna press the connect wallet button. Uh, we're gonna press the MetaMask button. We're gonna press the uh, connect button. And now you can see that we're connected over here. Uh, you can see the destination is gonna be over here. So you have two sides to every wallet. You have the Ethereum side and you have the Binance Smart Chain side. Um, and, you know, if you don't, there's actually a good place um, I was thinking for people to go to in MetaMask. Uh, I'm sorry, like if from, from the web browser, you can just very easily press this add network button. And then it uh, automatically populates all the RPC uh, information for the network, but we're not doing that now since this is already set up. Uh, so then you can see that we have uh, like $1.79 of USDT. So if we were sending USDT, um, we would press the max button, but we can't send uh, too little uh, over the chain of USDT. Um, and then, uh, so we're gonna be sending you know, we could scroll down forever until we don't find USDC or we might find USDC, but the easiest thing with these long lists is to just, you know, uh, type it out. 
and then um, it's easy to find. So now we're going to look down here and we say we have zero available. OK, so then we're going to go uh, to a new browser, you know, in, a, in the mobile app, the, the plus button would be down here, but it's not. So we're going to, um, you know, because we're in the uh, desktop uh, version. So we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to like ape swap uh, dot finance. And from apeswap.finance, we can um, we can go to the trade, and then we go to exchange. And this is how we're going to swap on the BNB, uh, the, the Binance Smart Chain from BNB uh, into USDC. And as you can see, I'm pressing unlock wallet. I'm pressing MetaMask. I'm pressing. Go. Next, connect, and uh, we're going from BNB. So we're waiting for okay. this to populate with the amount of BNB we have in the wallet. We can already see that it's connected to the wallet properly. While we're waiting for that to populate, uh, we're going to press that the select a currency button, uh, and then we're going to type in USDC. And now this is finished populating. So we can press max, okay? And it's omitting uh, 0 0.01, which is what I always recommend is the minimum balance that you have. Um, you know, let's just keep that even. It's more simple that way. Uh, so that equals about $68.7. So we're gonna swap that. We're gonna confirm swap. We're going to confirm swap again and we're going to close. So now we have, uh, you know, $67 uh, on its way over to the USD uh, coin in our wallet. Uh, when that arrives, uh, we're going to see it uh, over in the, uh, the Binance bridge uh, over in the amount over here because this is reading from uh, the Binance side of the wallet to send. And when that does arrive and we actually see it uh, registered here, we can press the max button. Um, oh, it looks like we need to have a lot more USDC to send anything across the Ethereum network. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, send a few bucks. Um, going to pause the recording. Okay, so we um, so we just uh, pressed max and then we pressed uh, and then we took away all these extra uh, digits and then we pressed the swap button and then we said uh, confirm swap uh, and then we got a the transaction cannot succeed due to error undefined. And it's because we already uh, had the swap initiated. So you can't send money you don't have. It's called the double spend protection um, code in the solidity contract for uh, all um, uh, cryptocurrencies, as well as just the, uh, the ape swap router, which is a really nice code. Um, that's very good. It's very hard to hack, and that's why people use ApeSwap so much. So, um, so now we have three fourteen um, over here in USDC. It looks like we still need another, like basically seventy nine dollars. Um, we're gonna go back here we're going to grab whatever we have in BUSD we're going to press max we're going to press approve BUSD and then we're going to scroll down so like you know normally uh, you don't really see the confirm button so you might you know on the on the um, computer it's oftentimes uh, the pop-up's a little small so you want to press the confirm button
And then <clears throat> once it's finished confirming, the swap button over here illuminates. And then we press swap. And then we press confirm swap. Confirm. And then we press close. And so now we'll have like 374, which is almost enough for this. Um, so I'm going to pause this again and send some from the other account. Okay, so now that we got all of the uh, USDC that we need to submit, you know, a minimum transaction, you know, we could send. <clears throat> so you can see that I already switched the asset here. Uh, that's always important. And, you know, you just click on USDC and we're, we're going from the, uh, the Binance Smart Chain Network and we're going to the Ethereum Network because we're withdrawing to Coinbase this time. So uh, as I've said before, um, you can add network here. You can also add USDC to MetaMask uh, very easily by pressing that button. Um, and then we just press the max button here um, and we take out uh, all those uh, decimals of per, uh, precision because uh, the Binance bridge does not appreciate them like other uh, places do. So we're going to only do it in uh, dollars and cents and not like millicents. <laughs> um, and then it says your swap address will be your receiving address. Please switch the network to check your balance after completion. So as I've said before, um, there's like two sides of the wallet. Uh, you know, there's the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other uh, blockchains that we're probably going to be doing some more developing on. Uh, you know, most uh, the next one's probably going to be Matic. Uh, Heco might be the next one after that. Thundercore is pretty cool. Um, and then we're, we're also probably going to do some development on Ethereum now that um, the uh, proof of stake um project is finished and it looks like it it uh it worked out pretty well to reduce the fees on the ethereum mainnet so if we click over here you'll notice that uh our usdc seems to have disappeared um and that the from address has changed in accordance with the side of the wallet from which we um are connected to the assets stayed the same and we can actually add usdc to that side of the metamask um and now i'm just going to go back uh to finish the um the task at hand so we're back on the binance smart chain so we can click down here and it auto magically switched us over back to the Binance Smart Chain being the from network. And now we can see all of the assets that we're trying to send. So we're gonna press the next button. We're gonna press the confirm button. Um, and then we are going to have to wait. Uh, luckily, everything's happening within the same wallet um which is the safest thing of all because we don't have to worry about stuff getting uh lost in translation so to speak um and then from the ethereum side of our wallet we can send it directly to coinbase so <clears throat> well and it takes like uh 10 minutes basically uh to wow. transfer assets across the ethereum uh blockchain so I'm going to uh, stop the recording uh, for, or I'm going to pause the recording from now. And when the assets arrive, we can basically fast forward and you'll see the rest of the process.